Hey everybody, sorry we're having a little trouble with internet connection, but I just wanted to jump on here really quick. We're gonna do a project later today with acorns. So we came out to a local park and we're just hunting for acorns today. So if you guys want to get out there sometime today, take the kids, bundle up warm if you're in the Midwest. It got cold out today. So cold and, <laughs> So cold. <laughs> and then um, head out to your park and look for some oak trees and see if you can find some acorns. We're gonna be doing some fun projects later today with them. So um, once you're out and hunting, you wanna find acorns that have, um, that are fully intact, cause we're gonna be painting them. Here's a few of the ones we picked up a little bit earlier. Um, just make sure they've got a little bit longer bottom on them and a nice cap and then we're going to be painting these in some gold and some colorful colors and there's another one he's finding. But head on out to your park today and pick up some acorns and later tonight we're going to get together and paint them and make some cute table decor with them. So hope to see you guys later. Thanks for joining us. Bye bye. Hi everybody. Happy Sunday night. We, um, we did some acorn hunting this afternoon in the park and I'm just going to jump on here really quick and show you guys how to um, take, maybe you can find at Goodwill this tray was just a dollar at Goodwill and it, it's an, it was an old pumpkin wooden one that is um, painted orange and had a, a bunch of different um, speckles and lines and stuff drawn in it and so I just wanted to update it and give it a new look and um, I painted this with just cheap, it's the cheapest, the apple barrel paint from Walmart that you can get. And I went ahead and just painted two layers on. So I painted one single coat on that and then I painted another. And then I took, you can take sandpaper or um, steel wool or anything to, just to kind of rough up the edges a little bit. Um, because this had such a nice dark finish to begin with, I was able to paint the white on and then just come back on with any type of sandpaper or anything and just rough up the edges. So come back and sand the edges and they'll give you that nice rustic look on a lot of the stuff that you're seeing in the stores. I've got to set this down. I hurt my thumb yesterday and can't quite do everything with <laughs> the weight just on my fingers. So. so then you just come back in like that and sand around the edges and it gives it that really, really cool effect to it. So. This is the tray we're gonna be using for the acorns to set down. And um, we have a couple different options for doing the acorns. So this will be painted all white and then you'll go back in and distress the edges. And, and then you can come in and we picked up, when we were picking up acorns, I also ended up picking up a bunch of leaves. And I thought that would actually kind of make a really cool um, way to decoupage on the top of that. So once you could paint this like a, a medium green color with a chalk paint and then come back and decoupage this leaf on or you could go with a solid orange color um, anything just to get this pattern off of it and then come back in and decoupage maybe a leaf on it um, we did some acorns that were in white i thought those would be really pretty with that or you could come back in with pine cones and just paint the edges of the pine cone that'd be a nice way to bring all the white together on the centerpiece so um, that was one thought on this. Otherwise, we did some, painted some of the acorns in colorful colors. So we did bright colors. And so you could add those with some different leaves. Um, another thing I did was take this warm metal paint that you can get from Target, or there's a pewter color also. Um, they just both have a really nice shine to them. And then you can paint like part of the leaf. Um, a lot of feathers and stuff I've been seeing with this just painting the edge a certain color. So I thought it would be neat too to do some leaves that are partially painted and then the acorns that match that. Oops, that one's hard to see. It's got a pretty good hole in it. Actually, that one's the silver one. I think this is the one that is the warm metal did a couple other colored leaves so you can just add a little bit of color a little bit of bling to it if you want to or um, I'll show you guys just real quick on the acorns when you're ready to paint them um, just take a small brush and we're gonna do one in white any flat smaller brush will work I did do it with a bigger one but um, only having my fingers to use and not having that thumb, it didn't quite work out as well with the bigger one. 
So um, if you do find them and they have a little bit more stem on them like that, that one's got a big chunk taken out of it. So we'll look here. Let's go with that one. It's a longer one, so it gives it a little bit more color at the bottom. Um, just go ahead and take your paint and start right at the base of that cap and just work your way down. And if you need to paint half of it and set it down, you can do that. Or I'll show you in a minute, once you go all the way around and get the paint on. You don't have to worry too much about those edges, just kind of work your brush up into that edge. Get a nice clean line on there. And then work it on the work your paint on the edge of the acorn and then just smooth it out and you'll let this layer dry and then you'll come back in it'll probably take two or three coats on them but um, you can pretty much rest them well it's gonna make a liar out of me but <laughs> I guess it's probably best just to be safe to paint one side and then paint the other side and and these are beautiful all on their own I thought those would be kind of fun just to leave with your other painted ones have different colors in there so not much to it guys I just thought I would jump on here really quick um, when we were kids my dad actually used to take these apart so he would take the top off of these acorns and then he would cut down around it and turn them into rings so when we were little kids and our fingers were little or if we could find the bigger ones so he could wear them or mom could wear them um, or now me as an adult could do that um, Sorry, I'm running out of battery here. Uh, there we go, that brightens it up a little bit. But these just have a really nice color to them. And um, I'm gonna jump on another video when my dad is around because I'd like him to show you guys how you can turn these acorns into rings. So I'm gonna keep hunting and try to find a few bigger ones and then that's gonna be another project. But I wanted to show you guys, you can find any old wooden trays that you can find from Goodwill and just paint them white and distress them and add some painted leaves and some acorns and you've got yourself a cute fall display for very, very little money. A dollar on the tray, a little bit of paint and free acorns and leaves. But thanks for joining me guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye.